This was after the news performance. It went awful. An angel went crazy. He went out and caused trouble against the rules. As Charlie and Vaggie were in the car, they would start to yell at each other. Vaggie would yell at Angel as Angel yelled back, and they walked into the hotel. However, Alistair wouldn't arrive yet. In this timeline, he would arrive a few hours later, so tension can build up. As Vaggie would say, can I talk to you, Charlie? Charlie would say, sure. Charlie and Vaggie walked upstairs. As Vaggie said, we have to get rid of Angel. Charlie and Vaggie would begin to talk. As Vaggie would say, we need to get rid of Angel. Charlie would be shocked. What? Why would you suggest that? He's literally our only patient. Vaggie would say, we can find another patient. He just embarrassed us on TV. Charlie would say, no. Everyone deserves a chance. I'll go talk to him. Vaggie would say, that's not a good idea. As Charlie said, I'm sure he's turning things around. But as she went to talk to him, he saw she saw he was using his stash again. Charlie had enough of this. She was made a mockery on the TV. Everyone laughed at her. She needed to get rid of him. She knew that now. Charlie would look at Angel and say, listen, we need to talk. Angel would get up and say, hey, Charlie, sorry about that whole thing. You know, I've been playing nice for a while. And Charlie would say, get out. What? I said, get out. Charlie, you can't mean this. I need a place to stay. Without this, I'll be stuck to stay at... Get out. You made a mockery of us. Charlie would say. As Angel would yell and say, you already are a mockery. This dream is dumb and stupid. As Angel would slam the door and leave, he would cry as he was forced to go back to Val. As then, Alistair would walk in and talk to Charlie. Alistair would look around and say, this place looked empty. Where is your patient? Oh, we kicked him out for embarrassing us. Alistair would say, you did what? I didn't know you had it in you, girl. It seems like you're more of a boss than I thought. Impressive. Alistair was shocked, even though he did agree with the decision. However, he didn't really think this whole hotel idea could work at all, though. But he was here for entertainment. As he would bring things like in canon, Charlie would say, but we don't have a patient. Well, that's not my fault. But don't worry, a patient will come to us eventually, Alistair would say. As in, we cut to Angel as Angel walked back to live with Val. As Angel was walking back to Val, Val would look at him and say, well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. As Val would say, did you really think anyone else could accept you? Anyone could let you in but me? Angel would say, you're right. You're the only one who would ever let me in. Val would say, good. I'm glad you understand that now. As in Val would take in Angel, as Angel was stuck to live with him, sadly, because he messed up. Because of his own mistake, he could no longer be redeemed, and he was forced to live with Val. As Angel would sit there for weeks, then weeks turned to months. As he was living in constant torture, he was living in pain under Val. And he kept regretting getting kicked out. He wasn't even good enough for the hotel. He belonged here. Val was the only one who could ever love him. The only one who could ever accept him. He knew that now. As Angel stayed there, eventually Vox would walk in and say, Hey, I gained out a deal with Val. Angel would say a deal. Yeah, he goes a little less rep on you for a few weeks. If you can get Cherry Bomb to go to that stupid hotel. Because we need someone to give us intel. As Angel would say, I don't know. Vox would say, if you don't do it, you know what will happen. Val would tell you himself. But he said, killing... Ah, was my thing, so he told me to tell you. As Angel would sigh and say, all right. The day would pass. The hotel wouldn't have any patience. They were thinking about shutting it down. But ironically, the V's attempt to send Cherry Bomb in there to get information would save the hotel. As Cherry Bomb would walk in, she would say, I want to register. As Charlie would say, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, eee! As in she would cheer, I am so glad for you. As she took Cherry Bomb's hand and showed her around the hotel. Cherry Bomb liked the party, and she was, you know, a little scared that she was going to have to play nice. But she was doing it for her friend Angel, because she didn't want him to be in danger. And she was a little mad Charlie kicked him out, but she could understand. But seeing Charlie, she felt so warm from her. She felt like Charlie was actually a good person. As in, she says, all right, you can stay up there now. Cherry Bomb would say all right, as then she would stay the night. A couple nights would pass as she would get to meet the residents. As Cherry would actually start to like the hotel, but she was here to spy on it, but she couldn't do it. Charlie was just too nice. But if she did, didn't do it, maybe Angel would be hurt. She didn't know. 
But then she realized something. All she has to do is report intel. She can just report false intel. As all this was going on, we cut to Charlie and Vaggie. As they'd be talking, Vaggie would say, you know, Angel was Cherry Bomb's friend. So you should, Charlie would then say, our hotel was almost shut down because I let go of Angel. As she walked away, Vaggie was hurt. Charlie just undermined her like that and walked off. But Vaggie thought maybe she deserved it. Charlie was going through a lot like now. The hotel was almost shut down for good, but now they finally have a resident and she needs to keep her happy. And now maybe she doesn't know how strict she should be with her. She can't drive her away, otherwise she won't have a hotel, but she needs to have rules. She decides just to see how well things will go. As Charlie was going through all this, Alistair would walk up next to her. Alistair would say, you seem stressed, darling. What is it? Charlie would look at him and say, well, this hotel, it finally has hope again. Things are getting on the right track, but if I lose Cherry Bomb, it's all over. How do I? You want her to be redeemed, but you also don't want to be too strict on her. <laughs> you sound like a parent. You know, I have someone who can give you advice. Charlie would say, really? Who's that? Rosie. As Alistair would take Charlie to Rosie, we cut to Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb would be at the bar, thinking about Angel, hoping that he's okay. As she would next to Husk, Husk would say, you look sad, what's wrong? Cherry would then look at Husk and say, well, it's just I have a lot on my mind. What can you do when you want to help, but there's nothing you can do? Husk would say, you do what you can. You seem like a good friend, and well, I can tell you're here for Angel's sake. Husk would say, as he smiled and looked at Cherry, Cherry would say, how do you know? Well, why else would a party girl like you be here? Besides, he probably went to Val, right? Cherry would say, yeah, I hope he's okay. Hey. As long as you're here, that's enough. I'm sure he'll do just fine. Cherry would smile as then we cut to Angel. Angel would be laying down in his bed, shaken as Val would walk up to him. As Val would grab Angel gently, he would say, Cherry gave me information. It seems good, so you'll be allowed to eat tonight. Ch Angel would look and say, thank you, sir. Hmm but you'll have to work for it, as Val would grab Angel and drag him into his bed, as they would both have fun, at least Val would. As Angel would regret his life choices, he couldn't believe he lived here now. He couldn't believe he was stuck back here, but there's not much he can do. He made this choice, he dug his own bed, he was selfish, and now he was pushed away, and now he was forced to stay here forever. His true punishment, his true suffering. As the next day, Val would leave as Angel would lay in the bed and cry, and cry, and cry. As we cut to Charlie, Charlie was, well, she was getting ready for the battle with Adam. As everything was going well, this was before then. As Charlie was nervous, she didn't know what to do. It seemed like things were going so well panicky. It seems like things were going so well destructively. Serpentis would be in the hotel in this timeline just like in canon. As Charlie was panicking, suddenly Cherry Bomb would walk up to her and say, hey, don't worry, you got this. Charlie would say, do you really mean that? I know it. Look at everything you've done. The hotel was destroyed when Angel left, yet you let me in and rebuild it. You've been here since the very beginning. You have a dream and it's time you share it. Charlie would smile and say, you're right. As Cherry Bomb and Charlie would face Adam, we already know how that goes. So we'll fast forward till after the battle. When the battle was over, the song was sang, and the hotel was rebuilt, and everyone was happy. They were sad that Serpentis was gone, but they had hope. They had hope that they can do better. They had hope they can redeem. And Charlie was regretted and letting Angel go. She wished that she could let him back in, but it's too late now. Val won't let anyone see him. As Charlie and Angel sighed together, Charlie felt like she failed Angel. Charlie felt like she pushed Angel away, and she did. She shouldn't have listened to Vaggy. And she'll always hold a grudge over her, not even consciously. But Angel was forever trapped under Val's influence, forever trapped under Val, never able to break free, and never able to get redeemed. And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this video. Then comments below. I really enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Sorry, I kind of had like a dark end. I thought maybe I could do something like that. Maybe have a sad story, you know, change it up a bit. I hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, this, I, I was running out of ideas to do. I'll be honest. I was trying to think of something to do. But I was like, 
what if Charlie rejected Angel? Because, well, Angel kind of made their life, you know, a living nightmare after the whole incident in the pilot. I mean, after that, Angel's been nothing but good and been going on the right path. But Angel never really believed in the hotel. I mean, no one did, but Angel was very, you know, critical and probably one of the worst patients to start off with. So it would make sense if Charlie got rid of him. At least, not a storytelling wise, but you know, factual wise, you know. I mean, if you see someone who can't change, who doesn't want to change, why keep them around? We know why, why he's doing it, you know, to numb himself from the pain and all that stuff. And a lot of people do it like that, and that's sad, but you know, why keep him around if he's going to drag you down? And that's kind of the thought that Vaggy had, and I feel like that that could have really happened. But it wouldn't have because Angel's too much a beloved character. But statistically, I feel like it was really possible. Anyway, with Angel gone, he spent his life with Val, which is um not the best. Anyway, let me know what you're doing, how you're doing in the comments below. Love you all so much. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being here for me. Thank you for always being the best fans I could ask for. I've started this channel a year ago, and this has been the best year of my life. Also. Down in the comments, let me ask a controversial question. Now, I don't want too many arguments in the comments since this question is going to be very controversial. What's your favorite food and why? All right. And like I said before, no arguments in the comments, but what's your favorite food? And don't try to get too argumentative, all right? <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. But yeah. Anyway, what's your favorite food? I know it has nothing to do with the video, but I'm just curious since I've been asking around. Some people say pizza, some people say cake. No, I've, I've heard a bunch of answers. Some people say salad for the variety. And you know, what, what's your favorite food and why? Let me know in the comments below. Love you all so, so much. Peace out.